Welcome to our presentation on biostatistics. First, sensitivity is the ability of a test to detect disease when it is truly present. The formula is true positives divided by the sum of true positives and false negatives. Next, specificity measures a test's ability to detect the absence of disease when the disease is truly not present. The formula is true negatives over the sum of true negatives and false positives. Positive predictive value, or PPV, is the probability that a positive test result actually indicates disease. It is calculated as true positives divided by the sum of true positives and false positives. Negative predictive value, or NPV, tells us the likelihood that a negative test truly means no disease. The formula is true negatives over the sum of true negatives and false negatives. Accuracy reflects the overall correctness of a test and is calculated by adding true positives and true negatives and dividing by the total number of cases now for likelihood ratios, which help us interpret diagnostic tests independent of prevalence. The positive likelihood ratio, or LR+, is calculated as sensitivity divided by 1 minus specificity. It tells us how much the odds of the disease increase when a test is positive. The negative likelihood ratio, or LR, is calculated as 1 minus sensitivity divided by specificity. It tells us how much the odds of the disease decrease when the test is negative. To calculate number needed to treat, we first need to determine the absolute risk reduction, which is the difference between the control event rate and the experimental event rate. We then calculate the number needed to treat as 1 divided by the absolute risk reduction. A lower NNT means the treatment is more effective. Sensitivity is defined as the ability of a test to correctly identify those with the disease. In clinical practice, a highly sensitive test is useful for ruling out a disease when the test result is negative, which is remembered by the acronym SNOUT. Sensitivity. Negative. Rules out. On the other hand, specificity refers to the ability of a test to correctly identify those without the disease. A test with high specificity is most useful for ruling in a disease when the result is positive, remembered by the acronym SPIN, Specificity, Positive, Rules In. This is the test indication curve, a tool used to guide clinical decision-making based on a patient's pretest probability of disease. On the left side of the curve, where the pretest probability is low, we are in the no test, no treat zone. Here, the disease is so unlikely that neither testing nor treatment is justified. In the middle range, we enter the test and treat if positive zone. This is the most useful range for diagnostic testing. A positive result significantly increases the post-test probability, possibly crossing the treatment threshold. A negative result reduces the likelihood, helping us avoid unnecessary treatment. On the right side of the curve, where the pretest probability is high, we are in the no-test-treat zone. Here, the disease is so likely that we proceed with treatment regardless of testing. A negative test would not reduce the probability enough to alter management. The horizontal line marks the treatment threshold, the point at which the probability of disease is high enough that the benefits of treatment outweigh the risks. Let's discuss some key concepts in bias and confounding. First, confounding occurs when a third variable, one that's not the exposure or the outcome, affects both making it appear as though there's a relationship when there may not be. Next is lead time bias. This happens when early detection of a disease makes it seem like survival has improved, even though the natural course of the disease hasn't changed. Just that we got led by detecting early. Now, let's discuss length time bias, which occurs because screening tends to detect slower growing or less aggressive diseases more often than rapidly progressing ones. This can also give the illusion that screening improves outcomes. Now, on to study power. Power, defined as 1 minus beta, represents the ability of a study to detect a true effect. In other words, it's the probability of correctly rejecting the null hypothesis when a real difference exists. Finally, let's talk about type 1 error, or alpha. This occurs when we wrongly reject the null hypothesis, essentially, accepting a lie. We conclude that an effect exists when in fact it does not. Thank you for joining us in exploring the fascinating world of biostatistics.